YouTube. What's up, bitch? It's your boy, Dom. I think y'all gonna like this one. So, pretty much what's been going on. Don't mind me, I'm a little, I'm a little ashy, but it's all good. But pretty much what's been going on was I came home in November. I took a month off and I went back to work in December. And right now we in New York. I still got my crib in Springfield, but y'all gonna like this one. Your boy is getting back on the truck. You feel me? Your boy is getting back on the truck. got the blue parrot on their head so you, you know it's real all right so i just put my stuff in my cousin's car he's gonna bring me to the airport and then we gotta fly out but i'm about to put my car in the garage right now because you know your boy's not gonna be driving it for a little bit of time so yeah so stay with me we're going to LaGuardia in like 2.5 i had to double back real quick i forgot two of the most important things i forgot my laptop and my cb radio bro what trucker don't got a CB? Going to the airport with my cousin, my road dog, B Roll. Yes, sir. <laughs> Outside, new vlog is coming. You heard? New York City, Bronx River Parkway. You feel me? They get real, real gritty out here sometimes. But nonetheless, like I said many, many times before, we're on the way to the airport. About to catch these, about to catch this flight. Going to Kansas City. It's supposed to be there about quarter to four ish something like that so it's about a four hour flight we go back an hour because of the time zone difference and then we're gonna see what's shaking up all right guys just landed in kansas city running to baggage claim to get my bags and after that we're gonna find something to eat and go to sleep because I am exhausted. But made it here safely. Tomorrow we start this new journey and we get right back to it. Let's go. First, Kansas City with it, Kansas City with it. Out here at the terminal or whatever, you feel me? So I learned that they purchased JTR, JCT, John Christian Trucking. And we're going in now to go do drug tests and hair tests and whatever else so let's see about to be a great day about to make some truck money again they leave a pallet of products on there and you end up showing up the next morning at your washout and you find a pallet of hot dogs that have been without refrigeration now. good morning everyone today is day two of orientation we are about to head downstairs to get some breakfast and then we are headed to the van and then we are headed to the terminal. Um, today we're supposed to be doing some stuff on the tablet and we're supposed to be doing some stuff in the trucks, like backing and all that stuff. And then from there, I think we do a couple more CBTs with the instructor and we hit the road. So ironically, there's a frost warning in Kansas. So hopefully it's not too cold, but regardless, let's make it a great day, make things happen and get up out of here good morning guys so check it out today is april 27th it is 9 10 in the morning it is a beautiful day here in kansas city your boy dom got his shorts on and stuff missing a patch of hair though because you know they do hair test hair but i want to introduce you guys to somebody very very special and dear to my heart even though we met like three days ago her name is Crystal. She is the orientation, one of the orientation managers here at the Kansas City location. So if you come to her spot and you come to Kansas City, you're going to be meeting Crystal. She is a sweetheart. She is amazing. She is super smart, super nice, super informative, and she will help you with everything. So if you come to her spot, drive her code P-I-N-D-O-M, holla at your boy. And if you come to Kansas City, holla at your girl. You feel me? She is amazing. She feeds you and everything. So come to her spot, make some money, get on the road, and I'm about to show you guys my truck. So. It's gonna be a great day. <laughs> hey, Lexi, say hi. Hi. This is Lexi. She's been on a girl's trip, so we didn't really get to spend much time with her. 
But that's Lexi. She's also a great. She's a sweetheart too. It's my boy Norman. My boy Norman been trucking like his whole life, so you know he, he he's a real trucker. But nonetheless, stay tuned. You guys are gonna love this Hirschbach trucker Dom. We gotta make some money. It's gonna be a great day. Let's go. Ah right, y'all, we back. Trucker Dom is back. You feel me? Twenty twenty one Freightliner Cascadia couple hundred thousand on the dash it's a it's a lease truck you guys know 134,188 um keeping the truck for a little while i already have a request in for a new truck so hopefully i get a new truck within a reasonable amount of time and we're gonna keep on trucking we're here with it we are hirschbach as you guys already know um the truck is bone dry they give you a refrigerator they give you a thousand bucks right out of orientation and they um they give you Wi-Fi, they give you an APU, so the truck is pretty well set. What one thing I can say for for a bone stock truck, it comes with electrical steering. Like I thought there was something wrong with the steering wheel. Like you could literally turn this thing with one finger. Like that's how smooth it is. I got the wood panel door, I got the silver back uh knobs, dongles, whatever you want to call them. Um I have an electrical fifth wheel release. That is dope. Uh the truck has like silver accents. The truck is in need of a truck wash right now. It is silver in color. I'm gonna show you guys outside, but just bear in mind the truck the truck next door, Tim and um Phillips truck, their truck, the APU is running, so it's pretty loud. But the truck does need a truck wash. It came out of the shop. Um, no mechanical defects whatsoever. You feel me? It's a good way to start on a truck that has over a hundred thousand miles. The truck so far, from what I've seen, it's in good condition. We're running on dual tires, we have a carrier APU. Uh, we have a black and decker refrigerated freezer and freezer that they gave us. I'm 100% satisfied with that. 24 inch Vizio, uh, Vizio screen right there. Um, my CB is coming in. I just got to go to the truck stop, get a power cord. I got to run some coax and an antenna. My CB is coming in. Uh, gonna gonna do, gonna get it done. Gonna do it right. Last year the LLC made a hundred some odd thousand dollars. That was only in nine months. So like, let's see what we could do in what six seven months that's left in the year it's about to be may right now this is the 27th of april so we about to shake the room um i'm gonna show you guys outside i'm gonna show you guys uh fill up real quick you guys can just say hi it's gonna be a, a quick glimpse but yeah so boom you know I mean? 21 cascadia yo philip say what's up hey what's up that's philip but uh you know how we doing the LLC? Jean Vier Logistics for my pops. It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. We out here. I can definitely see I'm ex Oh no. I just have to Today is Thursday the 28th. We got the truck yesterday. There was a brief trailer mix up, but we got it resolved this morning. I'm gonna show you guys the outside of the truck. The truck is, is dirty. I'm not gonna lie to you, the truck is, it's, 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 you guys know me, the truck is dirty. I got the truck like this. Um, unfortunately, there was no wash bait in the terminal that I was at, so I had to fuck it out. But we are here. So we're gonna get a truck wash. I'm gonna show you guys what the truck looks like before and after. 